Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. In this video, I will be discussing Infosys interview experience. I will be discussing system engineer role interview experience in this video. Guys, this interview took place through InfiTQ and it is of a 2022 batch candidate. So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end so that you can get to know the level of the questions which are getting asked from the candidates. Guys, if you are new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe it because I am posting a lot of stuff on 2022 batch students. I have already made four to five videos on SCS interview experience of Infosys as well as I am covering the covering the questions related to TCS which can be asked in your TCA detail hiring. So make sure that if you are coming to this channel for the first time, make sure that you subscribe it and join my Telegram group also. I post regular updates on different companies which are hiring as well as the questions which are getting asked in them. So guys, now let's start this video and before starting the video, please hit the like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Okay, so guys, the interview is for system engineer specialist role. So guys, it will be a very basic interview. You just must, you just need to study about few basic topics of for every subject like DBMS, OOPS and something. So our entire, entire interview will revolve around those basic concepts only since it is a system engineer role interview. Okay, so the, the uh, interview experience I will be discussing in this video is, see, date of the interview is 8 July 2021 branch of my friend was electrical engineering duration of the interview was 15 minutes. So as I told you that it's a system engineer role interview. So it will be a proxy a prox for 20 to 25 minutes only the interview. Okay. So the first question was introduce yourself guys. If you are following my previous video, so I have told you in that, that this is the most important question in uh, of your interview. But if you are watching this video for the first time, let me explain you what you have to tell in this particular section. So guys, in this particular section, please make sure that you only tell those stuffs in which you are comfortable in. You only mention those skills which you are capable of answering it. Because if you will lie in this introduce yourself, then it might be, it might be used against you because if like suppose you have said Java that you know Java, but if an interview asked you questions about Java and you are not able to answer that question, then it will be against you and you will not be getting the job. So please make sure that you only mention those skills and introduce yourself in which you are capable of answering it. Whether it is only one skill, whether you know only SQL only. So uh, mention only that particular skill in this particular section. Okay. So I hope this thing is clear to you. The next question was, what are joints? Okay. A join clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on related column between them. Okay. So joins are used when we have, to, when we have to fetch the results from more than one table. So therefore first we join the table and then we run a query on those uh, results so that we can find our actual answer. So I hope you are clear with this concept. Okay. The next, uh, next question was explain all types of join. So as there are a large number of joins, but the main uh, main joins which are present is inner join, left join, right join and fill outer join. So inner join is that when we are taking two tables, so inner join, when we perform inner join on those two tables, it will return only, it will return only those rows which are common in both the tables. So this is inner join. What is left join? Left join, when we are performing left join, uh, this particular join will return the rows which are common in both the tables. It will return that. Plus it will return all the rows which are present in the left table, but are not present in the right table. Then the right join, right join is similar to the left join. It will first return all the rows which are common in both the tables. And then it will return the rows which are present in the right table, but not in the left table. So you can see with the help of Venn diagram. Now full outer join is the, is nothing but the sum of left join plus right join. It will return all the tables which are call, uh, common in both the tables rows in which are common in both the tables plus the rows which are present on the left table not in the right table plus the rows which are present in the right table and not in the left table so this is what our joins are okay so the next question was cartesian join so cartesian join refers to the product of two tables so the results we will be getting by pro, uh, multiplying two tables so now how can we multiply two tables see this is one table that is there, there is r1 rows and c1 columns and then there is second uh, row, uh, table in which there are r2 rows and c2 columns so total number of rows when we multiply multiply these two tables will be r1 into r2 in the result set the total number of rows will be r1 into r2 and total number of columns in the result set will be r1 plus r2 oh sorry it should be c1 plus c2 sorry i have written it by mistake it should be c1 plus c2 that total columns in the result set will be c1 plus c2 so i hope this cartesian join is clear to you the next thing was explain your project so guys you must know the project that you have mentioned in your resume and you must be able to explain all the things regarding that project. So you first have to explain that what your project does, uh, what technology stack it is using and what is the pipeline of the project that how the things are working. So uh, my friend is, uh, whose interview experience I'm discussing in this video had a website made using Django and Bootstrap. So he explained, explained the entire project and how these technologies are getting used in such website. So make sure that if you are if you have used a particular technology in your project, then you must be, must know the, 
must have the knowledge of that particular technology because once a question is asked on that particular technology and you are not able to answer it then it will put a very bad impression on the interviewer see if you are if you have used machine learning so it is not necessary that you must know all the machine learning concepts but you should know the concepts which are used in your project very thoroughly and guys for this particular thing i have made a video also that most uh, commonly asked interview questions of machine learning that video you can find on my channel plus the most commonly asked python interview questions python interview questions again that video is posted on my channel you can watch that video also it will really help you so for explaining your project you must know the technology stack and you must have a basic understanding of the technology that you are using so i have told you that my friend has told that he has made a website using django and bootstrap okay now the next question was what has been your biggest achievement in college so as this answer varies from candidate to candidate so you can say that you are preparing for a hackathon if you do not have any answer or you do not have any achievement then you can say that you have won a hackathon or you were preparing for a hackathon and you were successful in that particular thing or you have made us of and you, or you made a project which was very good so you can say this kind of stuff stuff in the interview so it will it will be the right answer for your for such questions now have you how you have utilized the lockdown period so guys in this question you can say that i have utilized the lockdown period by enhancing my skills i have learned new technologies i have worked on my coding skills etc etc many answers are possible so you can pick up your own answer and say to the interviewer it will be it will be good okay so please just do not say that you have utilized uh, lockdown period by watching movies or web series because i know many of you have utilized that <laughs> by that way only but please tell that you have learned really specific things like technologies machine learning or something you have learned in this particular lockdown period now the next question was do you remember infinity to final round coding question so guys yes this kind of question can also be asked that do you remember the coding questions you solved in the infinity to round so my friend remembered them and he explained uh, the he explained all the questions to him that i think there were total two coding questions of in infinity to final round so he have explained both the questions but if you remember only one you can simply say that i remember only one and you please explain that particular question so this is also fine and guys i have made two videos regarding infinity to coding questions on my channel that were solved during the exam after the exam was over so please make sure that you watch those videos it might be the case that your question was asked and i have solved that question on my channel only so it might help you in that so i think this particular question is clear to you now the next question was do you have any questions for me so guys please do ask one or two questions from the interviewer it shows the interview that how much interested you are in his company so make sure that you ask one or two questions from him so as this was it for this interview if you have noticed that all the questions were very basic from different subjects like dbms or oops was not asked from my friend but it can be asked from you so you must prepare every basic concept from oops dbms data structures so that will be all for the uh, for clearing the interview i hope all the questions were clear to you and if you have any doubt you can always ask in the comment section and if you want more such videos please like this video and again comment down that you want more such videos thank you for watching this video